bag after bag of sand. Answering the challenge of the relentless Clark Fork River. You've never uh, seen it like this at your house before? No. Bob Dishner has lived in his house for 25 years and is seeing a lot more water now than any other flood, like the one in 2011 or 1997. Are you confident in that levy that it will hold? Very confident. Confidence that comes from the work hundreds of volunteers put in from Sunday to Wednesday. It's totally incredible, all the people and kids and ladies and everybody that showed up to help get this thing dammed off and keep it in the river. Facebook pages like Missoula Flood Support helped bring groups from churches and others like kids, teens, and adults. The internet has made a world of difference as far as getting people together and to get out here and and help organize things. Once the waters die down, Bob will be faced with what to do with approximately 300,000 sandbags. Well, that's a small problem right now. We haven't figured that one out yet. One thing's for sure, Mrs. Dishner isn't welcoming the sandbags long term. Your wife was saying she didn't want to keep them around for decoration on a permanent basis here. <laughs> Well, that's easy for her to say. Right. <laughs>